So from here, we're going to take this chassis and we're going to run it into the chassis plant. And we're going to add the star foundation. On top of the star foundation, we have a tag axle on this coach that's actually going to steer as we get into tight maneuvering positions. So when we take into effect comfort drive, the star foundation, and a passive steer tag axle on the Newmar chassis, a Newmar diesel is the ultimate RV driving experience available in the country. Right now, we have just moved into the chassis plant. And this is where we take the raw chassis from our yard bring it into the plant, and we start adding on our star foundation at this point. The star foundation is a foundation that we add to either the Freightliner or Spartan chassis that's going to add to our coach, it's going to make it, just like the star acronym sounds, stronger, truer, and more robust. So what we're looking at here are cross members that have been welded on top of our star foundation. And these are critically important. These are gonna be very square and very true because this is the basement area where our actual floor will set upon. Okay, so when we were out in our chassis yard, what we saw was the plain Freightliner chassis. And that chassis had a rail, it's right here. We've not removed that. What we've done is we've leveled the front of the coach We've leveled the back of the coach to make that rail straight, true, and square. And now we've added on vertical support that run up and down, and that's going to give you an area to secure these vertical supports, which are very important because this is the perimeter of the chassis. We have the same thing on the other side, and on the perimeter of your motorhome is where you have your kitchen countertops, your refrigerator, your sofa, and that's where all the weight is. What ideally we want to do is take that weight and transfer it back to the center of the coach. So we have added in these supports that run from the outside back down to the center rail. And this is another rail that we've added to strengthen the whole foundation of the home that we're building on. If you look down here, you can see this plate that we've welded into the Freightliner chassis rail, and then we've taken a two by four, quarter inch thick, tubular steel piece and welded that to the plate, and that runs the whole length of the chassis from front to back, adding more structural integrity. So our home is going to be more rigid, more robust as it's traveling down the bumpy road. The other thing that we've added to our structure is these cross members that kind of run in a Z configuration. And what that's going to do for us as the chassis is going down the road, up and down the bumps, through turns and twists, that adds structural side-to-side -side support. So we're going to have less flex in the chassis and less chance of the home ever coming out of square. One of our gas chassis has just come off to the production line and it has an awful lot of raw metal associated with it. We're now going to take this entire chassis and run it into our paint booth and coat it with black paint to prevent rust and corrosion. Okay, so we're now over into the painted chassis. And this is the diesel, and one of the unique things about our diesel chassis is we have a sub-basement floor that is layered and insulated, and then the very bottom, we've got sheet metal to protect it from road debris. On top of that sheet metal, is a layer of protection. It's called black foam insulation. It's about an inch and a half thick and it gives us an insulation value and we have a wood liner that goes on top of that and it offers a floor that's close to three inches thick and protects our water tanks from freezing up. Also next down on the road noise and any other outside environmental things that want to come into the coach. So what we're looking at here is one of Newmar's wood floors. We use this on our gas and our diesel chassis. It gets mounted right on top of the frame rails. And as you can see, we use structure wood on the floor versus plywood. There's a good reason for that. It has a 25 year warranty, but we can build an entire floor with just one seam versus plywood that only comes in four foot lengths and you end up with five, six, or seven seams depending on the size of the motor home. Wood has many advantages. Wood will absorb vibration from the engine. Wood will absorb vibration from the street noise. Wood is a natural insulator. It's quieter, so it's warmer in the cold, it's cooler in the heat, and it's quieter going down the road.